start off getting out of his case. Gonna need to put the SD card in the in the um, camera. First of all, take off its cover carefully. I actually don't I actually don't leave it plugged in because the um, wire on this catches on the on the protective cover. I do have an SD card in there at the moment, but it's not a very good one, so I'll just take that out. By the way, this is the way that you upgrade the um, firmware on the camera. Just pop that away. Put in the micro SD card. There we are. Carefully plug in the CGO2 camera. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay. Up the, the, the aerial. <coughs> need to <coughs> need to get need to pop on the the propellers. They're marked with letters A and B. These two props here are the A's. These two are the B's, and they've got offset threads. So you need to make sure you get the right one on the right corner. The B's thread on clockwise. The forums seem to recommend doing these up fairly tightly. One. It's an A so that's going to go on backwards. Or anti-clockwise thread. Get it on straight. Okay. Again, they say finger tight. They're supposed to be self tightening, but um, definitely you do need to make sure that you get them on pretty tightly. Well, yeah, I like to take them off each time because I think that they fit in the case better that way and. Um, there's no chance of them being bent, distorted, or catching on anything. Is that one? And then the last B one goes on clockwise. That's it. So we're ready to go. Grab a chroma battery. Simply plugs in underneath, so that looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the transmitter. All seems to be good there. And turn on the copter. So maybe you can see here, it says RC complete, video Wi-Fi connecting. Just leave it for a few moments.
Right, all seems to be good and ready to go. You can see that the, um, hopefully you can see that the camera's got a picture of it. And if I move, if I move this lever here, the camera goes up and down. Pulling it to the top puts the camera straight forward 90 degrees. Looks as if we're ready to go. On the chroma itself, we have two white lights on the front. The back two are the back two are showing purple. That means that we're in the the angle mode, um, so it'll fly like a normal helicopter. Well, seeing as this is my first go, deep breath. And let's see what happens. I think I'll put the blade guards on because I'm flying in quite a restricted area. These weren't very expensive and they're very quick to put on. I haven't bothered with the screws for them because they're more of a precaution. I'm not planning to bounce it off walls, but it just gives me that extra protection and it also lets me see where the edge of the blades are. There's a little bit of wind today, but I don't think it's going to cause me Great problem. Now, the button up here is for is for um, recording. So I'm going to start the camera recording straight away. To start her up, I think I'm going to hold this button down here.
stop recording. Turn him off. Brilliant, excellent. I'm really pleased with that.